so today I am doing kind of a comparison slash review of a few different latex peel off barriers. I know these have been really, really popular lately. And um, I have, well technically I have five to show you, but I'm kind of only comparing three different kinds. Three of them are all, I mean they all perform exactly the same, they're just from different brands. Um, yeah, so I have tested all these out, I've used them, and I'm just going to kind of do, share my thoughts and then we'll have a little like demo, you know, going on either on the side or I'll cut away completely as I'm talking. So if you're unfamiliar with what latex barriers are, they're basically a latex almost like liquid mask that you can put around your nail and around your cuticle to help clean, make cleanup a lot easier with nail art. Like if you do a gradient, sponge gradient, you're sponging it all the way around your nail. I mean, you can clean that up with acetone, but if you put one of these on first, you kind of sponge over them. You I mean, you go around your fingernails. It doesn't touch your nail. It just goes on your skin. Um, you kind of go around it and then you can peel all that mess up and then your skin is clean. You don't have to do all that cleanup. It works really great for water marbling too. I think that's the thing I like to use it for the most because water marble cleanup is a nightmare. I was going to buy the Liquid Palisade to also review for this, but I think it's just going to perform like any of the other actual latex ones. Because I do have a latex free one to show for those of you that might have latex allergies. Um, but I didn't end up buying the Liquid Palisade one because I know I have things that are going to perform the same already. Um, and it's like $20, $25 and that's, that was a lot for me to kind of already know how I'm going to feel about it. So I didn't get that one. I did get the Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss and this is the first one that I'm going to talk about. Um, this is just your standard latex barrier. This is in a clear kind of latex. So it will go on this milky white color and then it will dry clear. It does have glitter in it. I think this was expensive. I got this off of Amazon. Let me just look it up on Amazon and see. I want to say I paid like all over $13 for it, uh, which is a lot. Yeah, this is sold on Amazon by Bliss Kiss for $11.99 and $2.68 for shipping. So, I mean, it was over $12, $13. This, I mean, basically ingredients are latex, water, ammonia, and glitter. I mean, they might mix this up themselves, but I feel like a lot of this is just latex that was purchased and repackaged. This works great. I put it on. It was completely dry in like two minutes, maybe one and a half minutes. You have to put it on really thin to make sure that it dries quickly, but it does perform, you know, the same. And then peeling off was really easy. It peeled off you know, in one quick swoop. The only issue that I had with mine is that my brush um, was a little bit stuck together like it had been out in the air and the latex had dried in the brush a little bit. Um, so that, it was stuck together. It was kind of like misshapen when I got it. I was gonna go through and like try to pick it apart and try to clean it up a little bit. I even almost got a different cap to put on there, but now it looks like it kind of melted like back into the latex or just broke up on its own. Um, I do like this because it has a wider brush so it makes it easier to spread around your nails. That was one of the things that I wasn't really looking forward to if I did end up purchasing the Liquid Palisade is that it has a very thin brush and it's a lot of work. I mean, if you're gonna put it on, especially for a water marble, it's gonna go like all the way around here. And a very thin brush is gonna take a long time to brush that around. So that was another reason I didn't really wanna pick up the Liquid Palisade. I have two others that I have had but they perform pretty much the same as the Simply Peel. The first one is That's a Wrap from Cinema Swatch Lacquer. This is, I picked this up because this is the first one that I had ever actually seen being sold. It was still kind of like a trial and error thing for them, so I picked this up in a mini. I've used a good amount of this. It's a light pink. Um, it dries to a little bit of a darker pink, but it pretty much performs exactly the same as the Bliss Kiss one. Then I also have this one that I got from Sassy Cats Lacquer. Um, it was another thing. I think they were one of the first ones to do it. This is a teal blue, which I know for a fact is just a repackaged tub, um, which I will talk about here in a little bit. This has, I mean, this was like even put in one of those art deco nail art striping um, packages. I thought that was kind of lame. Um, I don't like the thin brush on this. It makes it very, very difficult to use. And um, I'm pretty sure that the striper this originally was was red because they didn't even clean the nail polish off of the threads completely. So... This was, again, I think it was more like a trial thing when they were selling it and I picked it up because I didn't really know much about these yet and I don't think I have actually used this. I don't like the thin brush and I really don't like the very little effort that went into the packaging or repackaging, like they didn't even clean the red polish off the thread. Not thrilled with that one. Um, so you can buy one. A lot of indie sellers are making them the repack, which is pretty much just repackaged liquid latex. So you've got the Simply Peel that you can buy for... $15 roughly off of Amazon once you pay for shipping. 
Um, I actually got this off of Amazon. This is a big old tub of purple liquid latex. Um, I paid around $10, I think, for this entire tub. And this performs and works exactly the same as the Simply Peel for a fraction of the price. I have this empty Sesh Beat bottle. And I was able to fill this bottle up completely with this. And my fill level on this tub only went down to about there. So, I mean... This is like really sketchy and kind of like weird and uncomfortable to open in front of people when they don't understand why you have it. Um, because it's it's meant as like latex like clothing for you know weird photo shoots and like weird creepy Halloween costumes and stuff. Um, so that's a little weird, but you can get this in a lot of different colors. You can get this in clear. Purple was just what I picked because it was one of the only ones that was in stock. I think a lot of people are kind of catching on to the fact that you don't have to pay so much um, to get one of these. Because like I said, I think almost all the indie sellers are repackaging these and or just adding glitter and then charging a ridiculous amount for it. So, like I said, I filled up an empty Sesh V bottle and it went down to, like I said, there. I could fill like probably six, seven more bottles. And yeah, I ended up, I just got this like really scary, creepy looking syringe <laughs> and um, was able to fill up, just suck some of it out with that. This fits right into my bottleneck, squirted it right in, um, one fill, I didn't even have to, I don't even remember how much I pulled up, probably like this much. And yeah, squirted it right into the bottle, absolutely zero mess, really, really easy to transfer it. So I highly suggest getting something like this if you're interested in these. This is 10 times cheaper. Um, even like just buying this entire tub is cheaper than getting the Simply Peel and you can like I said fill like six, seven, maybe even more bottles out of it. Here's my bottle. This performed about the same as um, the Bliss Kiss. It dried in about the same amount of time under, if you do it thin enough, you know it's under two minutes and all peeled up in one piece very easily as well. I had no issues with this. Like I said, they perform about the same. This is just a fraction of the price. So the other one that I picked up is from LG and this is the Liquidy Split Latex Free Manny Mask. LG also sells a latex version but I picked up the latex free because I've got enough latex versions now for a lifetime and I did want to talk about this one because I know there are a lot of people that have latex allergies. So this has a little disclaimer on the back that it is a very very thick product and it says to use a very thin coat at room temperature. This is really thick. Like you know, strings out of the bottle, thick. Um, I don't know exactly what this is made out of, um, but it is latex-free, and so I, I haven't seen any other, There, I'm sure there are other brands that have latex-free options, but I haven't seen them. And um, so I think thick is probably what you're going to have to deal with if you want a peel-off, you know, barrier without the latex. This has a much better scent to it. Um, latex, I've worked with liquid latex before for Halloween stuff. It has a very strong kind of ammonia e, you know, like cat pee-ish. It has a very, very strong smell. This smells a little bit more like, um, like a little more plasticky. Um, I almost, it almost smelled like soap to me the first time that I smelled it, but it's very, I mean, you have to be like right there to really smell it. The latex ones, you could, those are strong. This, not so much. So the scent is a lot better on this one, but it is very, very thick and you have to work very, very hard to apply it thinly because this takes a very long time to dry. I got it mostly off in one piece the first time that I used it. There were a couple little, you know, straggler pieces. There was a little blob on the side of my nail that it had not dried yet completely because I had put it on a little bit thicker there. You can kind of just rub that off and like as you rub it, it makes it dry faster and it came right off. But I do think that that, I mean, there are some cons to it. Obviously, if you're not allergic to latex, you're going to want to pick one of the latex options because they do, you know, dry faster and peel off better. But if you are allergic to latex and that's not an option for you, I think this one would work really well. I, like I said, I haven't heard of another one, another company that's making a latex-free one, so I will link Elegy down below if you guys want to check that out. It's not my ideal. I wouldn't um, go for it if I had another option, but if this was my only option, I would be pretty darn happy that I could have a latex free one. So that is my kind of, you know, comparison review of the peel off latex barriers. I know there are like a thousand and one indie sellers that have latex barriers right now. Uh, I, I haven't tried them all, obviously. I'm not going to try them all, but I think that they all are going to perform about the same as any other bar barrier that does have latex in it. I can't speak for the latex free ones if there are more um, because I, I don't know. 
but I think they're all going to perform pretty much the same if they have latex in them. I do think your best bet is to just buy a tub off of Amazon. I think I googled or I searched like latex body paint for like $10, $11. They do have like a lifetime supply. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you later. Bye.